In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Articulate command. On screen you see a model that's already been split up, ready for articulation. So I'm going to come to the object list, hide all these pieces, and then just focus in on the top of the, the lower torso there. And this is the face I want to place my first pivot point. I come to Select Move Clay and select the new Articulate command. There's some different options here on the diner bar which we'll discuss in a while, but first we just want to place the first pivot, and I'm going to guess where in the middle this needs to go. This brings up a dialog box where I want to select the objects I'm going to associate with that pivot. Right now I'm just going to select the upper torso, because the rest of them will be controlled with the hierarchy I'm going to build in a second. But certainly I could select more than one piece if I want to associate that with this uh, particular pivot point and then I'm going to activate the upper torso come to this shoulder area and place another joint but this time I want to put on the auto center option and when I select here somewhere near the middle Freeform is going to go through some further calculation to guess where the center of that um, joint should go and then I'm going to select the upper ar the right upper arm now I'm going to come to the actual right upper arm and I want to place the uh, elbow pivot point. But for this one, we actually have a sketch with a circle which is where I want that pivot to go. So this time when I come to place the pivot, I'm going to use the place pivot sketch option and select one of these circles and that will place the pivot point right on the center of that circle. Select right arm lower as the piece to be articulated, bring back right arm lower and then go back and place the final pivot point on the right side for the hand. Come back to the other side of the body and continue place, placing the pivot points. the left elbow and then finally an articulation joint for the left hand now here you can see I've got all my articulation points, my pivot points defined so what I want to do now is come to this third option, the actual manipulate pivot option. And here I can grab these icons and start to move them around. And you can see as I'm moving them, we have the angle updating down here in this uh, in the diner bar. And I can actually zero that back out or I could type in a number. And even though on this first joint, I only associated the upper torso with it, you can see that because of the hierarchy I built, all the rest of those pieces are being manipulated as well. So we can just move them around and then quickly repose him. Now we don't have any uh, bore lock on right now, so you, you might have to hunt a little bit in depth to actually get these pivot points. And if I hide that away, there you can see the uh, reposed man with the new articulation. Uh, these icons here are actually the same size no matter what scale you're zoomed at. So sometimes you might have to zoom in just to get the actual, uh, just to be able to choose the actual pivot point you want to manipulate. You can actually come here to the object list as well, click on these pivot point icons and either change the selection or zero, ang zero out these angles as well. So if I zero everything back, there you can see how some of those arms there have been re-zeroed. And that is an introduction to the new Articulate command.